So the one thing I really do want to talk about is the fact I don't sleep anymore. I really don't sleep anymore and it's really kind of frustrating, but I'm fine. Obviously my body's fine. I'm able to function and do work throughout the day. But honestly, I haven't slept since December 27th. Yeah, that's a long ass time. Sometimes I rest just because my jaw will start like vibrating and shit from being tired. So I'll have to force myself to lay there. But I don't sleep. And I get hungry like all the time, all throughout the night when I'm up. And the time I do like to sleep is usually when the sun's out because I like knowing that it's there because um, I like staring into it all the time. Yeah, I, I stare into the sun all the time and I don't go blind. Of course, we all know that, but I kind of enjoy saying it because it's funny because the world teaches you not to look into the sun when the sun holds all the truth. It's just bizarre that people actually listen to the rules. I stopped listening to the rules long ago. And now my life has completely changed and everyone's calling me Lilith. And I kind of knew I was her, but I never really wanted to admit it because it's hard to be called someone else. But I can feel her in me, that's for sure. It's just... Um, I don't know. I was told I was her when I was 19, too, when I went to Roswell, New Mexico, and then I've been to Area 51 a couple times, and um, they didn't tell me I was her, but I just had a feeling I had to go there to spy on what they were doing, which I did, and it was fun. Um, it's fun when you're a little secret agent. For God, obviously. And um, I have an alien thought. Even though my body is human, and my brain is pretty much human, but my pineal gland is untouchable. Anyway, you guys should really work on decalcifying your pineal gland by staring into the sun is one good way. Another good way is stop using fluoride toothpaste and fluoride water. And the third best way is just like meditate, you know, go out of body and do amazing things with your third eye like I do. I have like so much fun with it, you know, like my first sexual experience was with inorganic beings and it was amazing. And I accessed them through my third eye and that's why I was able to get with them and it was pretty awesome, I have to say. I just hope someone watches this and goes, wow, that chick is either one, really cool, or two, really crazy, or three, what the fuck, maybe aliens really exist, because that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to prove to the world that they do exist, and God does exist, and I know I'm not quite magical enough to really make an imprint, but I'm trying, you know, if I can get one person to convert, well not really convert, but just believe that's enough for me. And as you see, all I do all day is take pictures of myself staring into the sun. And I have countless pictures of staring into the sun on my phone. They're all legit. I don't like make them up or anything. I legitimately stare into the sun all the time. And it's, it's fun, you know? It decalcifies your third eye, and I feel so awesome. I can do so much shit now. Like, make water almost come to a complete stop from a huge fountain. That's pretty fun. Slowing down water is a blast. But the most fun I have, I have to say, is when I'm staring into the sun. Which I do all the time. And no one seems to give a fuck, but that's fine. Because this is where we come from, people. Yep. Inside that mushroom.